is there anything specific you suggest I do after the November exam? Maybe like really go into identifying my weak, my weak areas before studying again for January or? Yeah, that's something I would always recommend whether you were taking November or not. And so assuming you've got a pretty good foundation in the lead up to November, then after, after that point, you can switch gears a little bit and say, okay, I've got the basics down. Let me focus on certain particular weak areas, maybe certain logical reasoning types you want to drill, then focus on those as you go for January, along with, of course, doing more full-length exams. Uh, one comment I have for you around taking two exams, like November and January, is save a handful of timed exams for your January take, or maybe even save the majority of your timed exams for January, because that's the one that really counts for you. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.